Hello, I'm Tim Rowe, and welcome to the Modernization for Lifecycle Integration technical video series. In this session, we're going to spend a minute or two talking about building code, compiling applications from within our IBMI developer platform. Merlin is our OpenShift Cloud Ready Workspace set of tooling that we've created to help our IBMI community create and develop applications into the future. In this session, we're going to specifically talk about IBMI developer and the processes and the tools for creating, compiling, and building either applications or what we like to call a smart build. From the IDE, being able to take the source, send it to a spe specified IBMI where you get to compile your program. Or maybe you have a piece of code that you've updated that's part of a larger project and you can do a smart build or the build of an application versus a program. So without any further ado, we're going to have Eric Simpson, one of our developers for Merlin, walk us through how to build and compile our applications. In Merlin, once you have made your source changes, you will want to do your build. And this will be just a developer build, not the official build. Uh, inside Merlin, you can define which commands are used to do your builds. And there's two options. One is for building the project and one is for compiling an individual source file. So if we make an edit change and then we invoke the compile action, which will just build this particular source file, it will connect to the IBMI. It will set up the environment based on the project. It will then push up any files into the IFS folder that have been changed on the workspace. And then it will invoke whatever compile command has been defined. Once that compile command is finished, it will then bring back uh, to the workspace the information or the results from the compile. It will populate the problems view. So then from the problems view, you can go to the editor and fix the errors. So we had six uh, issues from the compile. Three of them were severe. We've made the editor change. Uh, we've saved the file and we're going to just invoke the compile again. So it will do the same thing about connecting to the IBMI, setting up the environment, just pushing that one change up to the IFS and then running the compile command. Uh, this time when the compile is finished and the problems view is updated, we see that we only have three informational messages. In the IBM job log view, we can see the results from both commands that we, we sent. Uh, the first one it can show that it has the error, and the second run you can see that it's all green and informational messages only. Now, aside from doing the compile command, there is the build of the whole project command. So if we invoke a project build, uh, this follows the same process where it connects to the IBMI, sets up the environment based on the project, pushes up any source changes that have happened, and then it runs the project build command, whatever has been defined. And then it'll go through all of the commands associated, and then at the very end it will download the compile logs as a regular compile and update the job log view and problems view. In terms of the commands, uh, there is support for Bob, the Better Object Builder, which is an open source project, as well as support for the RCAD build tools. Both can be run the same way and both can get the same error feedback into the workspace. Thank you very much, Eric. Leave you with a couple of key locates, um, URLs where you can go find out and learn more about Merlin and how you can leverage Merlin to help move your application development shops into the future.